My name is Friday Priscilla. I'm from Abia State, Nigeria. I work as an embryologist with the Nisa Premier Hospital in Abuja. I arrived in Jakarta on the 8th January 2017. I'm here for MEC African Embryologist Training as a part of MEC More Than a Mother Initiative. Infertility affects 15% of age reproductive couple in the whole world. Uh, in Nigeria, infertility affects 20 to 25 age reproductive couple. Uh, but society thinks the responsibility of this problem should be on the woman. Although with data, we can see that 50% of this problem is also from the men. Uh, the major challenges we have social challenges, you know, the stigmatization, I mean, which is mostly also on the woman. And then we also have the part of affordability. Most people cannot afford the ART treatment because they are expensive. And uh, because they cannot afford this, they choose to use maybe a traditional cure. Sometimes they use the traditional cure because they cannot aff um, afford this ART techniques. And then, and this traditional cure also worsens the situation. And we know that with ART techniques, age also matters. I think the MEC African Embryologist Training, which is part of the MEC More Than a Mother Initiative, is really coming in handy at this time because now we have people who are showing interest in, even though they don't have the money, they are showing interest in this, in this technique, you know, showing interest in ART. Now they know that their problem is not a haunt, it's not spiritual. So since they know it's now a medical thing, they are showing interest. And I think this program is really coming in handy because uh, it's training young embryologists, you know, empowering them, teaching them better skills, you know, uh, teaching them, you know, other techniques, what they are not used to with state-of-the-art equipment. Now you can go home and then, you know, improve on your center, bring in new changes, you know, help as much people as you can. Uh, I will transfer the knowledge I've gotten from this training. I would like to go to my center and improve on our, you know, our techniques, better services, and then also go to the lab and bring in new, if possible, get more funds to bring in more state-of-the-art equipment, you know, to offer better services. Hold seminars, teach other young embryologists, the knowledge I've gotten here is good to pass to others, you know, to build embryologist community so I can go back to my country and teach other young embryologists on better ways to offer better services. Before I was selected by MEC African Embryology Training Program, I had just basic expectations. I just expected that I will, you know, come here, learn some few things and then get back to my country. But on coming here, I am beyond surprised. I mean, the, aside that, the reception was very good. And also, uh, the, the, the training was, was wonderful. It has been hands-on since I came here till now we've been practicing. And so I'm just very excited. Well, after this MEC African Embryology training, I would be an ambassador for Merck, you know, in promoting the fact that the problem is not always with the woman. It's good to know the facts. It's good to know where these problems are coming from. It's not okay to push the whole responsibility on the woman. Sometimes this problem is from the man and then it's not good to put all the responsibility of infertility on the woman. I want to say a big thank you to MEC African Embryologist Training. I am very grateful for this opportunity. I do not take it for granted. And I'm also thankful for the, you know, the MEC More Than a Mother initiative. I think that's part of the reason I'm here. And, uh, and that's really big to me. So I'm taking all this I've learned back to my country, back to my center to improve on our way of thinking you know, by seminar and all, and, and all. So I just want to say a big thank you to MEC African Embryologist Training and thank you, I'm grateful.